Welcome to Jamie Reviews. I am Jameson Michael, and the wait is finally over. So Nike seems to be going all out with the idea of combining their top of the line cushioning system with one of their most popular running models to date, the Nike Pegasus. And by subscriber request, I was able to bring back Mary Beth to help me test out if this new shoe is the real deal. So comment down below the Mary Beth hashtag if you know it. And with that said, this is our review of the new Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo. So the Pegasus Turbo takes what the current Nike Pegasus does right and attempts to improve upon that. In the upper, you got a translucent mesh with fly wire cable integration for lockdown support. The upper was fairly simple in that there were not many overlays besides the one stripe that goes down between the shoe. As far as how it felt, we found the shoe breathable and even more accommodating than the normal Pegasus 35. The fit was still snug around the midfoot, but did not require as much braking time to feel comfortable. The toe space was very generous considering Nike's shoes don't typically have the widest toe boxes, and as runners, this was very much appreciated. The design of the Turbo maintains that aerodynamic look that we've seen in shoes like the Vaporfly, the Zoomfly, and the Pegasus. The back of the shoe is tapered off while the heel collar flares outward to avoid irritation, and the heel of the shoe kept us locked down and secure. We never had any issues with rubbing. The tongue and the heel of the shoe are slightly padded and gave the shoe a comfortable yet sleek feel. For how simple the upper was, it was quite impressive. It contained our foot in well while being accommodating, we didn't have any hot spots in any of our runs, and overall the fit was great. The only thing that we found odd was the stripe overlay going down the middle of the shoe. We didn't notice if it had any real functional purpose. We would like to think that it provides the shoe a bit more structure. But either way, we really didn't notice anything while running. I guess it makes the shoe look fast. Going into the midsole, the Pegasus Turbo brings Nike's top of the line cushioning in full effect in the Zoom X. Last year we were huge fans of the Zoom X technology and how light it was in the Vaporfly 4%. And while that was a great racing shoe, the thought of having that Zoom X cushioning in an everyday trainer is now a reality. But without the carbon plate, we wondered if the ride of the shoe would still provide that bouncy responsive feeling that we remember. And the answer is, yes. No matter what pace we ran, the shoe felt comfortable. And we know the words energy return get thrown around every day in running shoes. But when it comes to providing that bounce back sensation, this shoe has it. Long runs never felt sluggish and the cushioning was enough to provide comfort for longer workouts. When picking up the pace, the turbo never felt sloppy or too soft to where we didn't feel in control. The heel cushioning provided great shock absorption when landing. And the cushioning in the midfoot is where the shoe was money. When it comes to the ride and the transition during foot strike, it was everything that we had hoped it would be. And so we also decided to test out the turbo with some sprints, and we think it held up okay. When really pushing it, the responsiveness required for a sprint wasn't that great. Compared to the full length zoom in the normal Pegasus, we still think that would be the better way to go when really pushing the pace. Overall, the turbo did great for up tempo, medium, and long distance workouts. And so the outsole has a pentagon pattern throughout the shoe. The majority of the forefoot and the heel area are covered in rubber. Traction on roads were good, on grass it was passable, and unless you want to try it for yourself, we wouldn't recommend going on trail. The flexibility of the shoe was enough to allow for a more natural ride. And speaking of the ride, we found it a bit unstable considering the base of the shoe was fairly narrow. When our foot strike and form was good, it wasn't really noticeable. But once we got fatigued, we really had to make sure that our foot strike was on point. So we have been anticipating the shoe for quite a while, and sometimes the idea of a shoe really can't reach the expectations of the hype. So when going down the list of things that Mary Beth and I didn't like, we really didn't have much besides the fact that the shoe could have been more stable. And of course, the price. Which brings up the question, as much as we enjoy the shoe, was it actually worth 180 US dollars? We say maybe, and we say maybe because it depends on how into running you are. There are plenty of great daily trainers that will do the job, but besides the price, I said we might just have our contender for shoe of the year. It has a great fitting upper, the shoe feels light on foot, and the ride is so smooth that I almost can't believe it's not butter. So then I turn to Mary Beth, and I ask her, when it comes to the Nike Pegasus Turbo, how do you feel? And she agreed. This is the real deal. Well done. Everybody, please. It's like, what time is it? I think it's like 
like it's like two in the morning. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm lying. It's like ten o'clock at night. But still, I'm be. I'm tired. Been out here for like two hours recording for you guys. You know, you guys been begging for this review. You guys beg for Mary Beth. Or some of y'all now, but most of you yes. So the least you can do is hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, like, share. Guys, running's hard. But it's also like 109 degrees here. Facts. And we were out here for like two and a half hours. So. Facts. Show some love. Talk to them. Show some love. Thank you. But we're not desperate. Like we're cool. Nah, I, I'm we're desperate. Very I need this. I got kids to feed. I'm okay. like, I've run in the past seven Pegasus. And this is like next level. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright guys, this video was not sponsored by Gooder Glasses, but if it was, I would like it to be one day. So, hey Gooder Glasses, if you're watching, gosh, what are you doing? I'm sorry! Alright, screw it, let's just get to the point. Alright guys. These are not Gooder, but I wish they were. Well, please give me some free Gooder. Alright, back to me. Flawless victory.